and to de determine which DuraShock uh, you will need, you have to go to the website or Amazon and download that sheet that has this little gauge on it. Cut it out and bring it back. Jack your car up. You can do this without taking the tire off, but since I'm replacing shocks today too and everything, it's just easier for me. Okay, you're going to put this in. You can put it in, but I put it in up here. Okay, you see the second step right there? <laughs> Okay, here's our box, Dura Shocks. I don't know if you're in focus or not, I hope you are. And looks like I got the green ones, I should have got the E's, but, and it'll be labeled right there, this is the F, but these will still work, I'm pretty sure, because we're not that far off. We're probably within the the distance of, of error because of how you cut the little gauge out. But anyway, we're good, we got these, and I got these to get another inch, supposedly inch. So let's get these put on and I'll show you how I'm doing it. Okay. Begin with you need little lubricant on your springs. I don't have no WD for 40 handy. So this is what we're going to use. Also, placing those. Now, what I've done, and you can do, you can cut these corners at a little angle. It's going to help to slip that on, uh, slip this buffer on there. Like I said, just use whatever you got. I got some WD-40 someplace. Ain't worried about it. And what we're doing, we're going to slip them on there. Yeah. Let's do the whole thing. Just get it all over the place. You betcha. Oh, I went on the side. There we go. And just like that. Now, you can slide them up. And that's that's uh, now I gotta get a rag. Let me come right back. Okay. I got that. Now if you notice these have slots for and those for zip ties. I just That's pretty loose. If yours is pretty tight, you probably don't need one. But what the heck, they come with, with it, so I may come off just a little bit, maybe. No, maybe not. Okay. Get on there. Like I said, if yours is really tight, you probably don't need these. But what the heck, like I said, they come with them, help keep them in there. And, uh, let's see, where's the other one at? It has to be right in there. Oh, missed it. I hope that's recording. Now I had, I have both of them zip tied to the lower spring. Now what I'm going to do is zip tie this one, leave this one here to the lower spring and the other one, the other, uh, zip tie it to the upper. That way it kind of holds it in place. They give you four zip ties. Oops, hopefully I didn't knock you, knock you off there with this zip ties. I mean, most people know how to install a zip tie. Yeah. 
cutting them though. Once you get them on there, sometimes. Or you can just bring it around to you and cut it. And make your life a lot easier. Let me cut this one off here. Now, here's my other zip tie. Like I say, I'm going to do this to the upper one. That way, kind of keep it in the slots. And since you have a lubricant on it, it slides really easy. Uh, don't tell me I got, uh, thought I had a bad zip tie there for a minute. Okay. And that, folks, oops, hit you again, didn't I? Sorry about that. That's how you put your Dura shocks on now. I also have I also have those blocks that go in there to give me a little bit of extra support. right here uh, I'm going to use, just use one per side because you know I have the your shocks already on there okay how do I which way do I want these to go uh, that'd be too much again there's a guide on the website and on Amazon about how to do the I mean um, which ones to get Just like that. Yeah, you know what? I'm wondering if it's not better just to go down here. There. I like them grooves in there. Hopefully that'll hold them in. I don't know. I don't think you should have to zip tie those. Okay. I'm going to put the tire back on. Uh, put the tire back on after I replace the shock. The thing I'm worried about, oops, keep hitting you, is if this is going to be too stiff of a ride, but we'll see. Now I've got my block on. You can do this before or after. It's just easier for me to have something to uh, hold that block while I drill. And that's just to put your zip tie through so it this doesn't pop out because you do want to zip tie these or they will pop out and now we have them zip tied in these come with zip ties and if they don't you can just use your regular zip tie and i know somebody's gonna ask what size hole do you drill big enough for a zip tie go through okay it's not rocket science okay got the dura shocks and the block on before we were just a shy of um, 24 inches and look there just like they said just shy over 26 and so I just got a little over two inch lift right there all right I oh, love it now I gotta go do this side so basically um, about an inch with the Dura shock um, block and about an inch or so or about an inch with the um little green things booster spring boosters that's how you install them and that's with both of those the block and the, as well as the boot that's about what you can get at least out of this ford focus with a lot of weight in the back end like I say 4500 pounds of gear in the back got me about two inches of of, of uh, height Well, the ride is a lot different than what I expected. Uh, it is a little stiffer, 
But remember, I also put those new shocks on. And I'm going down this old bumpy uh, county road, doing about 50. And I really like it. I can't tell there's a height difference. You can tell the back end is a little higher. I'd slow down there. So, um, yeah, I really like those spring boosters. Actually, I can tell this road's much rougher by the front end than I can the rear end. The rear end really soft. And those are the uh, spring boosters. The green ones are the 6,000 pound ones. So I'm really happy. Well, anyway, just thought I'd bring you this little update here. I've been driving for about 30 minutes down the back road, just trying to um, get a good feel of it. So anyway, we'll get out of here. Y'all have a good one. Okay, here I am on the highway now. This is a rough road, as you can tell. And I can really tell a difference now with those DuraShock spring boosters and blocks on there. The ride height is higher in back, obviously. But I can really tell how worn my struts are up front now. The rides are really firm. It's not stiff, like bounce, bouncing stiff. Before, I would just, you know, sag, bounce, you know, the back would hit a bump or a little roll or something, it, it almost bought them out. Now, it's, it's real stiff, the ride is a lot better, so now I need to get the front struts on, but man, I'm sure glad I put the Durachocks and those uh, blocks on, because it's made a huge day and night difference. This is a little, usually a little, see, back end just barely gave a little bit, front end gave more. So now I just need to get those struts on the front. I got some one Monroe strut for the front. I'm waiting for the other one to come in for the passenger side. I'll get those on. So there's another bump. Man, it's much better. 